Hello guys, welcome back to Mechanical Design Maker. In this video, we are going to see about the scope of GDNT GPS. So what exactly GDNT and GPS covering here? If you look at this, there is four ranges here from function to design specification to manufacturing and also verification. GDNT GPS covering are closely related to all of them. Let's look at one of the drawing. There is a component here. You may put some geometrical tolerance, size tolerance, position tolerance or profile tolerance. Any specification you put towards this component, you are supposed to consider function of the component also. How that component work with other components? What is the function when those components assembled together? This could be maximum gap, or maximum misalignment or maximum coaxiality between two components or could be maximum flush. I mean one surface is out and one surface is misaligned. So this is the function from assembled parts. Once we understand the function of assembled part, then we are allowed to put geometrical tolerance to separate components. Without knowing the function of each component, we cannot make a joint. We don't know how much tolerance we should give to this hole. We don't know which surface supposed to be datum. All of the geometrical tolerance and specification should consider the visibility of manufacturing. The tolerance value we put here have the huge impact on cost of production. So that we should carefully calculate the value of tolerance. We should consider the function first. If the function is okay, we are trying to improve the economic of the production parts because if you look at different parts the stamping parts or molding parts obviously they are able to achieve the different level of tolerance and they can produce different structure you should consider this possibility carefully before we put tolerance and datum here the last one is verification when we put tolerance here all of this should be measurable. If it is not measurable, that doesn't make sense because we don't know the real parts either good or bad since it is not measurable. We should consider how to measure the parts such as how to find the proper datum and how to match the variable of this geometry tolerance and how to calculate it out. After knowing the function, the tolerance stack up will be performed to determine geometrical tolerance and those tolerance will be implied on engineering drawing for manufacturing considering design for manufacturing or design for assembly and then produced parts will be verified by Kaj design or CMO machine. So let's come to overview the geometrical tolerance and design specification should relate to function and related to manufacturing and verification. The process of the flow is we should understand the function first and then we cascade this function into specific separate component. We express this function through design specification. The next when we specify the tolerance, we should consider the visibility of manufacturing. Once we have parts, we need to measure the parts and how to measure the parts is decided by design specification. Thanks for watching, please subscribe for more videos.